What is up, everybody? For this little quick tip, uh, it is anti-Asusena. So, as you know, she has a liberator stance, right? That auto-evades highs and lows. And when in heat, she automatically attacks afterwards, right? So she has a lot of meaty, pretty disgusting stuff from that stance. And she has a lot of attacks that lead into that particular stance. Now, what if I told you that Yoshi can completely negate that stance altogether? Now, a quick disclaimer before anybody says anything. I know with Asusena, you can do 1-1 one, one, Liberator and then instantly mash and you can beat out a lot of options. Yoshi also has his avoidance for a lot of those things too. But for this particular video, I am going into just the auto sway mechanic. So I am using 1-1 one, one to transition into Liberator and then I am giving Asusena a quick little second for Liberator stance to be active and then I'm doing Yoshi's jab to trigger the auto sway. In these clips, I am recording 1-1 one, one that goes automatically into Liberator as soon as you get hit by the second attack and in the first sequence, I am mashing on jab. In the second sequence, I am mashing on 4 which is her fastest attack out of that stance. And then in the third clip, I am mashing her power crush high afterwards. Just so you can see that Yoshi can just throw a jab, automatically trigger the evade, and still get a flash punish on the evasion. This works if you do the two jab or the one jab, and it doesn't matter if you're in sword stance or no sword stance, Yoshi still gets his punishes. That's all great and all, but when Asusena is in heat, she has that pesky automatic attack out of the stance. What if I tell you that instead of jabbing, you can just do a back one spin into a back three evade, and Yoshi will evade the punish. And Asusena is stuck in the recovery of the automatic punch, which still lets Yoshi launch her. Just remember, it's back three and not back four. Back four still gets clipped. So there you have it, a nice quick video on how to control Asusena's Liberator stance. This is obviously a Yoshi Mitsu Oni exclusive type of thing. Maybe other characters have something similar, but this definitely improves the meta game when it comes to the Asusena matchup. So yeah guys, if this video helped you out, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and like always, I appreciate your time. Have a good one. Peace.